What's up, broski? Welcome to another edition of Mr. Advice. Gonna answer a couple questions here. Uh, you can send your questions to uh, Danny Tanner, the number two at yahoo.com. Danny has two ends, Tanner has two ends as well. And uh, the number two all together at yahoo.com. So Danny Tanner two at yahoo.com or post it or post up your question on, on the comment section. <clears throat> All right, if you want to remain anonymous, I guess you can, you know, whatever you want. Our first question comes from Lucas. Yo, Faded, are strip clubs worth going to? I've never been to one, and I thought about going, going to one. Let me tell you something. From what I heard, strip, club, strip clubs now have changed a lot. And, uh... Compared to uh, the early 2000s, <clears throat> I've been to a couple strip clubs in America, broski, and they fucking suck. Here's my honest opinion, bro. Man, I don't know, bro. The thing with strip clubs is that some of these places, it depends where you go, really. Some of these places, they want to charge you at the door. Bro, you might as well fucking just take a $100 bill. And film yourself flushing it down the toilet. Because I guarantee you that'll be more entertaining seeing a hundred dollar bill swirl around the fucking toilet before it flushes. And to go to a strip club nowadays. Because before you go on a strip club, most of these places have entrance fees. And fine, I understand. Everybody has to get paid. The, bill, the, uh, the rent in the building and all that shit. Yeah, I understand. But just know what you're getting yourself into, you know. Try, try to bring at least 200 bucks. Maybe 100. Maybe I'm overdoing it. Like I said, I know they've changed a lot now since back then. But you're going to be paying, what's the average? A $25 entrance fee? Then you're going to, uh, you know, you might want to drink. A fucking small ass little beer is going to cost you like, what? Six, seven bucks now? Nine bucks? Oh, especially if you go to New York City. Holy shit. Shit, bro. New York City is a fucking... Bro, New York... Bro, everything is overpriced to the fucking max there, bro. Fuck that. Stay away from New York City strip clubs, period. But yeah, before you even sit your ass down after paying the entrance fee and buying a beer, 30 bucks already out your pocket. Then you're gonna have a bitch that's gonna come by. All these bitches are gonna come by, shake their fucking asses. You're gonna obviously you're gonna have to tip them a dollar here and there, a dollar there, and then that's it, bitch. Get the fuck out. Some bitches will push it further, like, hey, papi, hey, you want a lap dance? It's uh thirty thirty dollars a song, forty dollars a song. <clears throat> and what that means is, you know, if you agree to their fucking lap dance, they'll take you to a private room, a private booth, and they'll twerk and grind on your cock. <clears throat> Throughout a three or four minute song that's playing in the club. So if a Missy Elliott song, uh, it just starts playing, boom, there it is. For three minutes th throughout that shitty Missy Elliott song, she's going to grind on your cock in her dirty, soiled ass lingerie. And uh, that's it. You try to touch her, maybe cap a, you know, maybe cop a little feel she's gonna tell you oh no that, that that doesn't come with the with the lap dance that's an extra ten dollar fee to just touch my ass get the fuck out of here bro those bitches in the strip club just look at it like this broski yeah most of them may be nice and hot and that's the only reason they got hired is because they're pretty hot but once they start aging once they start showing signs of extra baby fat from all the ugly bastard kids that they've been popping out from all the single thug daddies they've been messing with. And that baby fat starts showing and the wrinkles and they start aging. Then bitches get kicked to the curb and replaced by another hotter, younger skank. Fresh out of high school. That uh, doesn't want to do shit for her life but just uh, suck a cock for cash. Or in this case, uh, I guess twerk her ass for cash thinking that it's going to last her forever. But it's not. But I'm not going to knock down all these fucking bitches because some of them do have a master plan. 
some of them know they only want to strip for a couple years just to earn enough money maybe to get a car to go to college but that's what that's what almost all of them say bro and then you see them 10 years later and they're the fucking neighborhood crack whore I don't know, bro. The, but the strip club environment, it's, uh, I don't like it. American strip clubs just don't do it for me. I haven't been to one in years. <clears throat> They're boring. I just, bro, I want to get some kind of value for my money. You know what I mean? I don't want to just freely give a bitch $25 just for her to grind on my cock. Get the fuck out of here, bro. For what? You're going to have a stiffy and... Oh, and, and if you want to do something extra with her, that all depends if you can get away with it, you know? Because obviously, as you guys know, prostitution is illegal in America. <clears throat> some, some strippers, they'll agree to it. They'll tell you, yeah, yeah, we can do something for an extra 150 bucks. But you got to meet me uh, when, I get off, when I get off work around 3 o'clock in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning. Or here's my number and... And call me, we and we can set something up. Listen, if you want to do that, that's fine. It's your money, it's your business. But uh, just know, you gotta be careful. All right, you just gotta be careful. Maybe these bitches are trying to set you up, or you just don't know nowadays. Stay away from those expensive ass high end strip clubs. You know, like the ones in fucking Los Angeles, especially Manhattan, New York City. I've, bro, there have been a lot of stories. Fucking strippers, uh, uh, if they know that you got money, they'll drug your drink. Bro, this entire fucking planet is, is the Hunger Games. You know? Where everybody's trying to put one over, uh, over the next person. That's how it is. I guess that's the way it's always been. So always watch your back, stay vigilant. And use common sense. If you want to go to one and check it out for a half hour, you got you got some money to blow, broski. Hey, be my guest. That way you can get a good understanding of it. But the best strip clubs to go to are the ones over in uh, Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam, Mexico. At least you at least you get treated a bit better, and you get more bang for your buck. You know. <clears throat> um. You know, they should legalize prostitution in America already, seriously. Make brothels illegal. Some of this shit is just... But just some of the shit, I, I think it's... Personally, I think it's ridiculous, you know? And having lap dances, having the prices on lap dances gone up already? I heard people paying upwards of up to fucking $60 for a lap dance. What kind of fucking shit is that? Holy shit, bro. $60, I'll buy me a good RPG that'll keep me entertained for a couple months. Then for a fucking bitch to, dance, to twerk her ass on my cock for three minutes. Bro, I don't fuck, bro. Up to you, bro. Stay away from ghetto strip clubs. Those ones that are at the corner of some shady ass neighborhood of Compton and Wallaceville or, 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 or in the Bronx, you know what I mean? In shitty neighborhoods. Those are always trouble, you know? To me, I think that most strip clubs are, are run by some criminal organization. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I just don't trust them. I don't want, I don't want to deal with it. You especially don't want to get drunk at a strip club. You know what I mean? You just... Fuck them. Let's move on. Fuck strip clubs. I don't want to make this into a strip club rant. I guess when you grow up, you realize, man, you know, it's just not fun anymore. Okay, our next person, he wants to remain anonymous. Hey, Faded, I watched your videos for years. And one of my best friends for the past four years... Just got charged with four felonies. The courts gave him a bond of $250,000 and said he could face up to 48 years in prison. And all he did was put a post-it note saying, don't come to school tomorrow. And bomb.com on the school bathroom stalls as a prank. 
I went to one of the court sessions today and my friend is being pulverized by all these libtard fucks. <clears throat> when in reality, he's a harmless guy. They even searched his house and found nothing, but the media is still putting him on blast and over excuse me, over dramatizing the situation. Over dramatizing the situation. Anyways, I'm going to visit him in the county jail and I don't know what to tell him before he gets I don't know what to tell him before he gets his prison sentence in. He's been a good friend to me and I know he's gonna get eaten alive in prison. I'm worried this is the last time I'll ever see him, even though he didn't deserve all this over two post-it notes. Here is the link to the bullshit Fox article that they spewed about him. Notice how they notice how they notice how they have the same format for almost every article in person. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna post up the link on the bottom. I was checking out this story. This is actually a real story, bro. And you sent this question a couple months ago. Sorry, I missed out on this, by the way. Hey, man. First of all, you can't be doing this kind of shit nowadays. There's cameras all over. It's hard to get away with anything nowadays, broski. There is cameras all over, you know? A fucking camera from a jack-in-the-box will fucking capture a, 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 a fucking murder going on down the street. The detectives will piece all this together, and it's hard to get away with crime. This was pretty stupid of your friend, broski, especially now how sensitive uh, these situations are in school. <clears throat> I don't think he, he's going to get 48 years... You know, that's just an estimate. Um, he may get maybe a couple years, I would say. <clears throat> Hopefully he has a lawyer. Um, that's, that's his best defense, is that it was just a harmless joke. He didn't mean it. Me, personally, I think that's the uh, defense I would go with. But how did they know it was him? You know, <clears throat> the only way they could have known it was him is if they captured him on captured him on camera doing it, or if he confessed to it and they kept grilling him and grilling him. You know, people just to let you know, no matter how much they grill you, officials at school or the cops, no matter how much they grill you into trying to get an answer from you, you just stay silent. You know, just say you you, you you choose the right to remain silent. That's it. No matter what, you stay fucking silent. That can save you a lot. Just stay fucking silent. Don't say shit. Just say, hey, I don't want to talk. You know, I got nothing to say. That's it. It sounds to me like your friend probably spoke too much. After a while, after after they grilled him, he may have confessed to it, which he shouldn't have. He's gonna have to, bro. He's going to have to keep to himself in prison, mind his own business, you know, don't fuck with people, don't stare at people. Um, I don't know, man, he's going to have, this is his own battle, broski. He's going to have to get, th he's going to have to get through this on his own one way or another. This is going to be the moment in life where it makes him or breaks him. Damn, bro. Yeah, that's my advice to you guys. Don't go posting any kind of threats on post-it notes or graffiti or anything. Because nowadays, with all these jihadi fucks blowing up shit left and right, you know? It's become a sensitive issue. And our last question comes from... <clears throat> yeah, bro, tell your friend also while, you know... Here's, before I get to this question, I'm sorry. Tell your friend also, while he's in prison for a couple years, do a lot of reading, you know? Educate himself. Use that time... Use that valuable time where, where he's basically not doing nothing in his cell. Maybe to master some kind of craft. Practice on drawing. That's another one. Keep it. He has to focus, keep his mind focused on something. Imagine that. Your friend gets a couple years in prison. And all he does every day as a hobby is probably drawing and drawing and prove his art. Drawing and drawing. And guess what? When he gets out of prison... He may not be able to get a job in corporate America, but guess what? He's going to have such a great skill in drawing. He could fucking make his own cartoon or something, you know, or sell off his artwork. That's one tip. 
or uh, I don't know, read books, just read something. <clears throat> Use that time there as try to do something valuable. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe get good at math. Develop some kind of skill in there. I'm sure he'll be able to anyway. I know they have job skill programs in prison, right? Yeah, he fucked up. I hope, uh, shit. Hope he gets through it. That's all I can tell you, man. He's gonna, it's his battle. And our last question comes from Party Game Network. Hey, Faded, I recently had to take a shit, but it wouldn't come out, and it hurt like hell. I mean, real bad, bro. It was literally stuck. I didn't know what to do, so I thought I could use my fingers to dig the shit out manually. But the log was hard as a rock. I couldn't even dent it and my hands still got shit all over them. I was in so much pain I actually got a toothpick later and started stabbing the shit to chip small pieces off. I later had to force it out. I legit tore my ass. It was so big. What would you have done in this situation? Try to keep some lax laxatives around the house maybe broski. Something like this, you could have maybe mushed it, maybe with water, hot water. Maybe you could have taken your ass and squatted in a pile of hot water. Maybe that would have melted it off. Don't try to force it, bro, next time you're taking a shit. And watch what you eat. Don't eat too much fucking processed foods. If you want to let something out, bro, you know what? Fucking, maybe drink a fucking gallon of milk, or not a half gallon of milk. Bro, get some laxatives. Or you know what? Go to Infowars.com. They got great stuff to fucking clean you out. I suggest the Michael ZX and Living Defense. I talked about that stuff before, broski, and some people have commented on videos like, Oh shit, this stuff works. Because it fucking cleans out your intestines and, get, and gets rid of fucking junk that's been stuck in your intestines uh, for, for weeks. You know what I mean? That stuff works wonders, by the way. But yeah, bro, the only thing I can tell you next time is get a, have, some lax, have some laxatives lying around the house, you know? Go to CVS, Walgreens, buy yourself a nice bottle of laxative and just keep it in the bathroom. Keep it somewhere. For emergency use only, in case you in case you ever need it, you know. Or you could have just pushed it out as hard as you can, or you know, just clench your ass cheeks and just fucking push that push that shit out, you know. It sounds like you get, you did too much and you may have injured your ass. Anyway, that's all I got, broski. Later, let me know what you think.